I'm so stoked. <laughs> I just, my mind is exploding. Insert mind blown emoji here, all right? Now you're probably wondering why. Why, Pastor Tony, are you so excited and why is your mind blown? Because of you all. And because of you and your incredible generosity. We put the call out a while back to collect finances, to collect money, moolah, funds, to help a church in Gates, Oregon, the Gates Community Church of Christ. Gates is right in between Mill City and Detroit Lake, right in the heart of the San Am fire. Uh, complete devastation down there. Lots of homes just completely burnt up. Uh, that particular church had 13 families displaced. It sounds like most of them have found temporary housing uh, for now, but there's just a lot of needs, a lot of issues, and a long road ahead. We collected physical items here at the church a little while ago, and the Warrington Fire Department came and collected those things. Uh, I coordinated that with Chief Brian Alsbury over there. And they were blown away by how much stuff was collected. So first off, thank you for your generosity in that regard. But in that process, we had a few people that couldn't get to the store and they wanted to give money. So as we were collecting that, we're like, okay, so we're getting some money. This is obviously on people's minds. Uh, what else can we do here? Well, the elders decided to pitch in $5,000 from the church funds on top of that. And then we put the word out like, hey, let's just open this up for a little time and, and see what people will give. And we will send this money down to Gates Community Church of Christ. Um, they need the money. They're overwhelmed with donations right now. Their church building survived the fires and they have become a distribution center for that area in conjunction with other organizations uh, from the community, county, and state level down in that region. So uh, when I talked to Pastor Mike before, he, he definitely was saying, yes, money would be great. So when we put the call out, uh, people responded in a big way. So I'm happy to report, all that to say, I'm happy to report that we are putting a check in the mail today for the Gates Community Church of Christ to help out people down there uh, with fire relief, a check for $14,040. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. And I don't know why I'm surprised because that's the way this church has been for a long time. This is a, a core value of ours, uh, to be generous. And uh, we're not perfect people. We're not a perfect church. And I know we're not a perfect church for everyone, but I know we are the kind of people God wants us to be when we do stuff like this. And I'm incredibly proud to be your pastor. And uh, moments like these just just really make me smile, really make me happy, and just, it's, it's a lot of fun to participate in this, to be a blessing in the midst of other people's pain. I, I wish they didn't have to go through that, but uh, when I talked to Pastor Mike earlier today, he said, God is doing incredible things, blessing people, providing, opening doors, and so you all get to participate in that process through your generosity, so thank you so much for being a light, for being kind, for showing love in a dollars and cents type of way. It makes an impact, it really does. So $14,000 heading down to Gates, Oregon to help people in the midst of tragedy. So awesome, I'm so stoked and I hope you are too. Keep praying for that community, there's a long road ahead. Hope to see you sometime soon, have a great rest of your week.